Picture yourself at age 24. What were you doing? Patrick Dupre Quigley was founding a professional chorus called Seraphic Fire in Miami. I came down here from, uh, from Connecticut and I was the music director at a large Roman Catholic church and had the idea uh, before I came down that one of the things that I wanted to do was start a professional chorus in Miami, partially because the, uh, the Philharmonic had folded and I wanted to prove that a professional ensemble could actually make it in this climate. And there were some really wonderful singers and no professional chorus in town, so I figured there was a need for it. In 2004, he would become the youngest conductor to win Chorus America's Robert Shaw Fellowship. At that conference, he heard Dale Warland answer a question about how to succeed as a founding director this way. Quit all your other jobs, make it your sole focus for three to four years, and then you might get a salary. So he did. He quit the church position that had originally brought him to Miami, and under whose umbrella Seraphic Fire was then sheltered, incorporated the chorus as an independent nonprofit, and invested all his personal savings into the venture. Now, nine years after founding Seraphic Fire, it is clear that his entrepreneurial vision was inspired. While initially recruited from the Miami area, Patrick now affectionately refers to Seraphic Fire as the American Airlines Choir, as his singers come from across the United States. Uh, we gather here for four days of rehearsal and three days of concerts for every time we put on a production. Patrick's own experience as a professional singer has always guided his commitment to those he now conducts, and the singers can make more than $10,000 per season. With the choir firmly established and performing more than 50 concerts each year, in 2008, Patrick expanded his vision, founding the Firebird Chamber Orchestra to perform with Seraphic Fire and independently as Miami's only professional chamber ensemble. Then, in 2009, Understanding from his own life that music can affect positive social change, he opened the umbrella even further when Seraphic Fire secured funding to begin the Miami Choral Academy, an after-school choral training program centered in four inner-city elementary schools and directed by Sean Crouch. And, earlier this month, Patrick oversaw the first Professional Chorus Singer Institute, where 20 aspiring young musicians were mentored by the members of Seraphic Fire. All this by age 33. Clearly, Patrick's passion for innovation and his entrepreneurial zeal are limitless.